Item Number SCP-1841 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1841 is to be contained in a standard containment locker, located in Site-77's Anomalous Documentation Wing. Personnel assigned to study SCP-1841 are to study non-anomalous digital copies containing all known locations described and manifested by SCP-1841. During testing, only D-Class personnel are permitted to interact directly with SCP-1841. SCP-1841 is a well-worn softcover book titled 1001 Places to Be Before You Die. It contains an indeterminate number of pages, and is 4 cm thick. Copyright information listed within SCP-1841 claims it was published by the publisher Periscope Publishing in 1989. Investigation has shown that the name was registered in 1985. However, no books were ever published under the label, and it is considered defunct. For the first 95 pages, SCP-1841 lists 95 separate popular tourist locations and describes the main attractions, in addition to recommending methods of transportation, which are contemporary to the time period in which SCP-1841 was published. No anomalous properties have been reported originating from these initial entries. After 95 pages have been read, the subject will report additional locations and activities listed in SCP-1841 that are unique with each viewing. Locations described by SCP-1841 after page 95 will initially be locations a subject would not be able to afford or physically able to travel to, such as the tops of mountains or private property. As the subject continues reading, the difficulty of reaching the location will increase dramatically, and written descriptions will be more sensationalized than positive. As of September 18, 1997, six defunct Foundation properties and three defunct buildings belonging to Foundation fronts have been reported, although no active facilities have been listed, including two neutralized anomalies. SCP-1983 and SCP-1522. When the subject passes page 1001, additional entries will manifest within SCP-1841. These new pages do not add to SCP-1841's mass, and will demanifest after being turned over to view the next page. The descriptions for these locations appear to be directly aimed at the subject, and often list specific tasks to be completed by the subject while visiting it. Examples include Location Description Task The Old House Dad's gone for a while now. Most of it's been torn down or taken by that Gillespie boy. But there's still the old pond. It's where they used to draw up rocks for the quarry, and the fresh water. Go to the old pond, and reach out to the dragonfly outside, who will never fly by again. Maybe sit for a while. The Tall Place. It's a forest somewhere. Remember, it was like what Mary wanted. You sat home, drawing those pictures for hours. Heck, you drew the characters from the Super Show in there. Maybe it's not going to be like that, but what the hell else do you have to lose? Travel to hear the call of every bird, the ones they showed you when you were young. Greenhouse 4. The windows are busted now, but it's still in one piece. Please be careful about the glass when you visit the old hiding spot. There are some loose shards there. Count the seeds in the pod, maybe name them, so they don't grow up without anything to be called. Outside. You can do it. It's been a long time since you got to feel the dirt and mud in between the toes. But there is still an outside. If you've forgotten, now's the last time you'll be able to remember it. See all the shapes that clouds can make. Name the ones that they can't. Travis's place. It took a long time, but he let it go. They all will, eventually. Hear the first steps of a friend's child. It's better than any forgiving word. Following exposure to SCP-1841, subjects have reported having vivid dreams and nightmares about traveling to the locations described within SCP-1841 and that waking occurred directly before arriving at their destination. 
Some subjects have reported a strong desire to visit these locations, and may attempt to visit the locations and accomplish the task listed in SCP-1841. Whether or not the subjects achieve success, most have reported satisfaction with their own accomplishments. SCP-1841 was recovered from a retirement community in Jacksonville, Florida, after employees reported its anomalous effect to local authorities. Investigation into its origin revealed it had been brought to the home by a recently deceased elderly resident and book collector. Prior to his death, had made eleven requests to visit his former home in Witnesses were treated with Class C amnestics, and SCP-1841 was classified as safe. Addendum. Writing found on the back cover of SCP-1841. There is a world of beauty and wonder that you can never see. Outside this room, there is a place with infinite potential for you to grow and explore. But you can never see. It was too late. From the moment you were born, there were things born alongside that can never be met or even known. Almost becoming real, it stretches before you as a colossal plane of what there can be. Then you wake up, and the only thing stretched before you is the bedsheets. But it's alright. Even if there's so much out there that you cannot see, what's been done was enough. There's never going to be enough time to see everything, but be happy with what you have. So what if you didn't see the world? There were family, friends, and an experience that's unique to you. That's what each of us have, what you took away from this whole uncaring thing. Even with everything you never saw, there's something that this amazing unknown will never see. Your experience. You've finished what you had to do. Now, rest. Good night.